Hi guys and uh, welcome to this one. So today we'll be looking at uh, the Gaussian elimination method under matrices. This method is usually uh, used to solve a system of simultaneous equations. It can be a 3x3, three three, a 2x3, three, sorry, a 2x2, two two, a 3x3, three three, a 4x4, four four, depending on how many variables you have. So in this method, we'll be using some concepts of row operations, then uh, based on how you manipulate the matrices, you will see how we form simpler uh, systems to help us solve the whole uh, system of equations. So in this video, strictly, I'll, uh, I'll strictly stick to a 3x3. Three three. We'll be solving for three variables, like for example here that we have. So the first thing you'd always want to do is, if you have these three systems, uh, we will get the coefficients for x and just align them like that. The coefficients for y, align them like that. The coefficients for z, align them like that. Then whatever you have on the right hand side of each, you just put um, put them there like that. So now understand that uh, if you do not have a variable, for example, in equation two, you only have four x and uh, negative three z, you don't have uh, the variable y. So what you do here at the position for y, you put a zero instead. Don't just leave it blank. So it means that there'll be a zero there. So the goal that we need to to to, to to achieve here is to make sure that these three values become zeros so these three values must become zeros and then these three values here must become ones so we need the zeros here and we need ones in that uh, major diagonal and of course we shall do that by the row operation like we said so Let's apply row operation, then you will see how yeah, it's easy to use the Gaussian elimination. So also understand that uh, whenever you are applying the Gaussian elimination, uh, it's if you want, you can leave it in the simplified form where you put zeros everywhere, then just ones here, then you get your answers direct. But it's just easier mm -hmm. to have zeros here and ones in the major diagonal. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you an example. Then I'll come back to this particular example after the one that we shall do. So let's jump straight into it and uh, look at how to apply this method. Okay, so we have this these three equations. Then we want to apply the method of Gaussian elimination to solve. So to start with, like I said, let's put them in matrix form. So this will be we we'll have one, two, negative one. We get me the coefficients for x. The coefficients for y, we have 1, negative 1, and 2. The coefficients for z, we have negative 1, 1, and 2. Then we'll write down these values on this side, which is like that. Okay. So now remember, we need 1s in the major diagonal, and we need uh, zeros here. So let's apply some uh, row operations. Okay. So in our first row, we're okay because we have a 1 here, but here we need a 0. So, since we need a zero, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply row one by two, multiply row one by two, then we subtract row two. So that whatever we do here, yeah, this will just give us a zero. Now, remember, this is being applied on row two. So, I'm going to write it there like that. Then, for the next one, again, we need a zero here. So, we're going to say the operation is on row three. We're going to add 1 and negative 1 because if we add these two we get a 0 here so the operation will be row 1 plus row 3 now if you look at what i've done here you can clearly see that i have not applied an operation for row 1 so row 1 will remain as it is so row 1 is 1 1 negative 1 negative 2 like that then the only operation i'm going to apply here will be on row 2 so uh, 2 times row 1, we'll get a 0 here. 2 times row 1, that will be a 2. Minus this one, we'll get a 3. So they'll add. 2, that will be negative 2. Minus 1, we'll get a negative 3. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5, we'll get a negative 9. So we've applied in row 2. Let's apply in row three. So in row three, we're just adding everything. So to start with, uh, if we add row one and row two, we'll get a zero here. 
we add row one and row two, sorry, or row one and row three rather, we'll get a three here. We add these two, we get a one, we add those two, we get negative one. Okay, so if you look very carefully, what we have achieved so far is uh, obtaining a zero here and a zero here as well. So the only thing we need now is a zero here and a one there, then we are set. So uh, the first operation we're going to carry out will be in row two. Remember, row one is already set. So in row two, let's write row one as it is. So row one is one, one, negative one, negative two, like that. Row two, the operation we're going to carry out is to remember we need a one here. So let's divide everything in row two by three. Like that. So divide everything in row two by three or multiply it by one over three. So 0 times 1 over 3 is 0. 3 times 1 over 3 is 1. Negative 3 times 1 over 3 is negative 1. 9 over 3 will get a negative 3 because the 9 is a negative. Okay. When we look at row 3, we need a 0 here. So to get a 0 here, we can subtract these two. 3 minus 3 can just give us a 0 here. So the operation in row 3 will be row 2 minus row 3. If you want, you can say row 3 minus row 2 is just the same thing. So subtract there, we get a 0. We subtract here, we get a 0. We subtract, remember it's 2 minus 3. So 2 minus 3, we get a minus 4. 2 minus 3, we get a negative 8. So we've achieved the three zeros. Now we need a 1 there, a 1 there, and a 1 there. So the only thing we're remaining with is this part here. So how can we get a 1 here? Very easy. To get a 1 there, the operation we're going to carry out in row 3 will simply be 1 over 4 negative or multiplying everything in row 3 by 1 over 4 so row 1 and row 2 will be maintained there's, uh, there's one there sorry 1 1 negative 1 negative 2 0 1 negative 1 negative 3 so let's divide everything in row 3 by negative 4 so this will give us a zero, this will give us a zero. Here we get a one, negative eight divided by negative four, we simply get a uh, positive two. So this is what we have. Now, if you look at um, what we've done here, we've managed to achieve the three zeros here and uh, the three ones there. Whatever we have everywhere else doesn't matter. So now this is what we're going to do. Remember that uh, this column represents the X, uh, variables or coefficients rather this here represents the y coefficients this here represents the z coefficients so let's create uh, three equations now here so for the first one what we're going to have will be 1x so that's just x plus 1y which is just y minus z so minus z is equals to negative 2 so that's the first equation the next one, we'll go in the second row. We have zero, so we don't have x. We have one y, so that's just y. Here we have minus z, and everything is equals to negative three, like that. Then the last one now, we don't have x, we don't have y, we just have z. So z is equals to two. So just by observation, already we have found the value of z. So having found the value of z, let's go ahead and find the value of y. So to find the value of y, we'll come back and use this equation and say y is equals to negative 3. So let's push z to the other side so it becomes a positive z. So y is equals to negative 3. Remember, z is 2 plus 2. So y is equals to negative 1. So we have uh, the value of y. So Having found y and uh, z, we can now easily find the value of x. So this is what we're going to do. Again, just like we did for y, we're going to use this equation. So x plus, remember our y is negative 1, so negative 1, minus z. Remember our z is 2, so minus 2 is equals to negative 2. So x will be equals to negative 2, this one here. Uh, negative 1, negative 2 is negative 3. It goes aside, becomes positive 3. Meaning that the value of x is equals to 1.
solve. This is the best way of solving this equation by using the Gaussian elimination method. Okay, so now, one thing you need to know is that if you intend to proceed with this method, here on these three positions, you can decide to put zeros here. If you put zeros here, what you're going to get are the three values for x, y, z here. But even if you leave it here, you can just form these three equations and easily find the three uh, variables. Okay. Okay, so I think we shall do this one instead so that at least I don't waste uh, much time. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, like we did in the previous one, remember we have to create uh, something that looks like this. Coefficients of x, we have ones throughout. So we have one, one, one. Coefficients of y, we have negative one, one, negative one. Coefficients for z, we have two, one, negative three. Then what we have this into one, four, negative four. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is we need a one here, remember? But before ones, it's always easier to start with the zeros. So one, we're okay because we already have a one there. We need a zero here. So to get a zero here, there, it's very easy because you just use one and one to cancel themselves by simply subtracting. So the operation in row two will simply be row one minus row two. We subtract, they cancel. The operation here in row three will simply be row one minus row three. We subtract, they cancel, same thing. It doesn't matter even if you use row two as well, we still uh, get to the same, to the same um, required answer. So row one, we haven't tempered with it, because it's okay. Negative one, two, uh, one, that's row one. Row 2, we're subtracting row 1 minus row 2. The operation is on row 2. So 1 minus 1, 0. Negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. 2 minus 1, that's 1. 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. Then 1 minus 3 now. Row 1 minus row 3, the operation is on row 3. So 1 minus 1, 0. Negative 1 minus negative 1, we get a 0. 2 minus negative 3, we get a positive 5. Then 1 minus negative 4, we get a positive 5 as well. Okay, so if you've seen, we've achieved the three zeros that we wanted. The only thing we need are the ones in this diagonal. To get a 1 here, very easy. So row 2, the operation is just uh, um, multiply by the reciprocal, which is row 2. So like that. On row 2, just multiply by the reciprocal, which is a negative half. Then, in row 3, again, multiply by the reciprocal. So, row 3, the reciprocal of 5, since we need a 1 there, it's simply 1 over 5. So, that's on row 3. So, row 1, not touched, so we remain as it is, negative 1 there. There we have the 2, there we have the 1. Here, uh, Remember, we're multiplying everything by a negative half or dividing everything by negative 2. So, we get a 0 here, we get a 1 here. Divided by negative 2, we get negative half. Divided by negative 2, we get 3 over 2. So, row 3, we're dividing everything by 5. So, 0, 0, we are 1, we are 1. Like that. Okay. So, now, let's create the three equations like we did in the previous example. So the three equations, I'll just start with the simplest ones, which is the third one. X is zero, y is zero. Remember this is x, this is y, this is z. X is zero, y is zero, z is one. So z is simply equals to one, we're done. In the next one, we know that x is zero, but y is one. So y minus half z. So minus half z, everything is equals to three over two. But we know what z is, z is 1. So y minus half times 1 there is equal to 3 over 2. So y uh, is equal to 3 over 2. This negative half can go to the other side to become a positive half, like that. So 1 over 3, or rather 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2, that's just 1 and half plus half, we simply get a 2. We have y, we have z, can easily find x. By saying x there is 1, 
y there is negative, z there is a 2, so plus 2z, everything is equal to 1. So we're finding the value of x, let's make x a subject, so x will be equal to 1 plus y minus 2z, because both of them go to the other side, so x will be 1 plus, what is y? 2 minus 2, what is z? 1. So x will be equal to, these two will cancel because one is positive, one is negative. So the value of x is simply equals to 1. So there we have it. That's how we solve uh, a 3 by 3 system by using the Gaussian elimination method. Please understand that even if you have a 4 by 4, make sure to make the major diagonal uh, to have 1s and everything below it to have zeros. Then you can just use the same procedure. Thank you very much.